a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Korea Korea is a historical country in East Asia. Since 1945, it has been divided into two distinct sovereign states, North Korea and South Korea. Located on the Korean Peninsula, Korea is bordered by China to the northwest and Russia to the northeast. It is separated from Japan to the east, by the Korea Strait and the Sea of Japan. Korea emerged as a singular political entity in 676 AD, after centuries of conflict among the three kingdoms of Korea, which were unified as Unified Silla to the south and Bulhi to the north. Unified Silla divided into three separate states during the late O Three Kingdoms period. Goryeo, which had succeeded Kukuyo, defeated the two other states and united the Korean peninsula. Around the same time, Belhi collapsed and its last crown prince fled south, to Goryeo. Goryeo, whose name developed into the modern exonym, Korea, was a highly cultured state that created the world's first metal movable type in 1234. However, multiple invasions by the Mongliuan dynasty, during the 13th century greatly weakened the nation, which eventually agreed to become a vassal state after decades of fighting. Following the Yuan dynasty's collapse, severe political strife followed, and Goryeo eventually fell to a coup led by General Yi Songgi, who established Joseon in 1392. The first 200 years of Joseon were marked by relative peace. During this period, the Korean alphabet was created by Sejong the Great in the 15th century and there was increasing influence of Confucianism. During the later part of the dynasty, Korea's isolationist policy earned it the Western nickname of the Hermit Kingdom. By the late 19th century, the country became the object of imperial design by the Empire of Japan. After the First Sino-Japanese War, despite the Korean Empire's effort to modernize, it was annexed by Japan in 1910 and ruled by Imperial Japan until the end of World War II in August 1945. In 1945, the Soviet Union and the United States agreed on the surrender of Japanese forces in Korea in the aftermath of World War II, leaving Korea partitioned along the 38th parallel. The North was under Soviet occupation and the South under U.S. occupation. These circumstances soon became the basis for the division of Korea by the two superpowers, exacerbated by their incapability to agree on the terms of Korean independence. The communist-inspired government in the North received backing from the Soviet Union in opposition to the pro-Western government in the South, leading to Korea's division into two political entities, North Korea and South Korea. Tensions between the two resulted in the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950. With involvement by foreign troops, the war ended in a stalemate in 1953, but without a formalized peace treaty. This status contributes to the high tensions that continue to divide the peninsula. To date, each country contends that it is the sole legitimate government of all of Korea. They refuse to recognize the other as legitimate. Etymology Korea, is the modern spelling of, Korea, a name attested in English as early as 1614. Korea was transliterated as Korea in the travels of Marco Polo, based on the kingdom of Goryeo, which ruled most of the Korean peninsula. During Marco Polo's time, Korea's introduction to the West resulted from trade and contact with merchants from Arabic lands, with some records dating back as far as the 9th century. Goryeo's name was a continuation of Kukuyo the northernmost of the three kingdoms of Korea, which was officially known as Goryeo beginning in the 5th century. The original name was a combination of the adjective Go with the name of a local Yamak tribe, whose original name is thought to have been either Walled City, inferred from some toponyms in Chinese historical documents or Center. With expanding British and American trade following the opening of Korea in the late 19th century, the spelling, Korea, appeared and gradually grew in popularity. Its use in transcribing East Asian languages avoids the issues caused by the separate hard and soft seas existing in English vocabulary derived from the Romance languages. The name Korea is now commonly used in English contexts by both North and South Korea. In South Korea, Korea as a whole is referred to as lit country of the Han. The name references the Salmon Ma, Jin, and Bayan who preceded the three kingdoms in the southern and central end of the peninsula during the first centuries and, although written in Hanja as, 
or, this Han has no relation to the Chinese place names or peoples who use those characters, but was a, or gan of a native Korean word that seems to have had the meaning, big, or, great, particularly in reference to leaders, it has been tentatively linked with the title Khan used by the nomads of Manchuria and Central Asia. In North Korea, China, Vietnam, and Japan, Korea as a whole is referred to as, Juzan, Kaoxian, Chosen, Lit. Land of the, Morning Calm. Great Joseon, was the name of the kingdom ruled by the Joseon dynasty from 1393 until their declaration of the short-lived Great Korean Empire in 1897. King Tio had named them for the earlier who ruled Northern Korea from its legendary prehistory until their conquest in 108 by China's Han Empire. This Go is the Hanja and simply means, ancient, or, old. It is a modern usage to distinguish the ancient Joseon from the later dynasty. Joseon itself is the modern Korean pronunciation of, but it is unclear whether this was a transcription of a native Korean name, or a partial translation into Chinese of the Korean capital whose meaning has been reconstructed as, morning land, or, mountain. Prehistory and Go Joseon the Korean Academy claimed ancient hominid fossils originating from about 100,000 in the lava at a stone city site in Korea. Fluorescent and high magnetic analyzes indicate the volcanic fossils may be from as early as 300,000. The best preserved Korean pottery goes back to the Paleolithic times around 10,000 and the Neolithic period begins around 6,000. According to legend, Dangun, a descendant of heaven, established Gojoseon in 2333. In 108, the Han Dynasty defeated Gojoseon and installed four commanderies in the northern Korean peninsula. Three of the commanderies fell or retreated westward within a few decades, but the Lilang commandery remained as a center of cultural and economic exchange with successive Chinese dynasties for four centuries. By 313, Kukuyo annexed all of the Chinese commanderies. Proto Three Kingdoms The Proto Three Kingdoms period, sometimes called the Multiple States period, is the earlier part of what is commonly called the Three Kingdoms period, following the fall of Gojo Sion, but before Kukuyo, Bikie, and Silla fully developed into kingdoms. This time period saw numerous states spring up from the former territories of Gojo Sion, which encompassed northern Korea and southern Manchuria. With the fall of Gojo Sion, Southern Korea entered the Saman period. Located in the southern part of the Korean peninsula, Saman refers to the three confederacies of Mahan, Jinhan, and Bainhan. Mahan was the largest and consisted of 54 states. Bainhan and Jinhan both consisted of 12 states, bringing a total of 78 states within the Saman. These are three confederacies eventually developed into Bikie, Silla, and Gaia. Three Kingdoms the three kingdoms of Korea consisted of Kukuyo, Silla, and Bikie. Silla and Bikie controlled the southern half of the Korean peninsula, maintaining the former Simon territories, while Kukuyo controlled the northern half of the Korean peninsula, Manchuria, and the Laodong Peninsula, uniting Baiyo, Okieyo, Dongi, and other states in the former Gojoseon territories. Kukuyo was a highly militaristic state. It was a powerful empire and one of the great powers in East Asia, reaching its zenith in the 5th century, when its territories expanded to encompass most of Manchuria to the north, parts of Inner Mongolia to the west, parts of Russia to the east, and the Seoul region to the south. Kukuyo experienced a golden age under Gwangye II the Great and his son Jiangsu, who both subdued Bikie and Silla during their times, achieving a brief unification of the three kingdoms of Korea, and becoming the most dominant power on the Korean peninsula. In addition to contesting for control of the Korean peninsula, Kukuyo had many military conflicts with various Chinese dynasties, most notably the Kukuyo Sui War, in which Kukuyo defeated a huge force said to number over a million men. In 642, the powerful general Yeon Gaesomon led a coup and gained complete control over Kukuyo. In response, Emperor Tang Taizong of China led a campaign against Kukuyo, but was defeated and retreated. After the death of Tang Taizong, his son Emperor Tang Jaezong allied with the Korean Kingdom of Silla and invaded Kukuyo again, but was unable to overcome Goguryeo's stalwart defenses and was defeated in 662. 
However, Yeon Gaesaman died of a natural cause in 666, and Kukuyo was thrown into chaos and weakened by a succession struggle among his sons and younger brother, with his eldest son defecting to Tang, and his younger brother defecting to Silla. The Tang Silla alliance finally conquered Kukuyo in 668. After the collapse of Kukuyo, Tang, and Silla ended their alliance and fought over control of the Korean peninsula. Silla succeeded in gaining control over most of the Korean peninsula, while Tang gained control over Goguryeo's northern territories. However, 30 years after the fall of Kukuyo, a Kukuyo general by the name of Dae Joyong founded the Korean Moha state of Bulhi and successfully expelled the Tang presence from much of the former Kukuyo territories. The southwestern Korean kingdom of Bikye was founded around modern-day Seoul by a Kukuyo prince, a son of the founder of Kukuyo. Bikye absorbed all of the Mahan states and subjugated most of the western Korean peninsula to a centralized government. During the expansion of its territory, Bikye acquired Chinese culture and technology through maritime contacts with the southern dynasties. Bikye was a great maritime power. Its nautical skill, which made it the Phoenicia of East Asia, was instrumental in the dissemination of Buddhism throughout East Asia and continental culture to Japan. Historic evidence suggests that Japanese culture, art, and language were influenced by the Kingdom of Bikye and Korea itself. Bikye also played an important role in transmitting advanced Chinese culture to the Japanese archipelago. Bikye was once a great military power on the Korean peninsula, most notably in the 4th century during the rule of Jiang Kogo, when its influence extended across the sea to Laoxi and Shandong in China, taking advantage of the weakened state of former Qin and Kyushu in the Japanese archipelago. However, Bikye was critically defeated by Guangge II the Great and declined, although later records claim that Silla was the oldest of the three kingdoms of Korea. It is now believed to have been the last kingdom to develop. By the second century, Silla existed as a large state in the southeast, occupying and influencing its neighboring city-states. In 562, Silla annexed the Gaia Confederacy which was located between Bikye and Silla. The three kingdoms of Korea often warred with each other and Silla was often dominated by Bikye and Kukuyo. Silla was the smallest and weakest of the three, but it used cunning diplomatic means to make opportunistic pacts and alliances with the more powerful Korean kingdoms, and eventually Tang China, to its great advantage. In 660, King Yuyo ordered his armies to attack Bikye. General Kim Yushin, aided by Tang forces, conquered Bikye after defeating General Jaibik at the Battle of Vangzenbil. In 661, Silla and Tang attacked Kukuyo, but were repelled. King Munmu, son of Mu Yol, and nephew of General Kim Yushin, launched another campaign in 667 and Kukuyo fell in the following year. North-South States Period Beginning in the 6th century, Siya's power gradually extended across the Korean peninsula. Silla first annexed the adjacent Gaia Confederacy in 562. By the 640s, Silla formed an alliance with the Tang dynasty of China to conquer Bikye, and later Kukuyo. After conquering Bikye and Kukuyo, Silla repulsed Tang China from the Korean peninsula in 676. Even though Silla unified most of the Korean peninsula, most of the Kukuyo territories to the north of the Korean peninsula were ruled by Balhi. Former Kukuyo General Daejo Young led a group of Kukuyo and Moha refugees to the Jilin and founded the Kingdom of Balhi. Thirty years after the collapse of Kukuyo, as the successor to Kukuyo, at its height, Balhi's territories extended from southern Manchuria down to the northern Korean peninsula. Balhi was called the prosperous country in the east. Later Silla carried on the maritime prowess of Bikye, which acted like the Phoenicia of medieval East Asia, and during the 8th and 9th centuries dominated the seas of East Asia, and the trade between China, Korea, and Japan, most notably during the time of Jiang Bogo. In addition, Silla people made overseas communities in China on the Shandong Peninsula and the mouth of the Yangtze River. Later Silla was a prosperous and wealthy country, and its metropolitan capital of Gyeongju was the fourth largest city in the world. Later Silla was a golden age of art and culture, as evidenced by the Huang Nyongza, Shokgurum, and Emil Bell. Buddhism flourished during this time. 
and many Korean Buddhists gained great fame among Chinese Buddhists and contributed to Chinese Buddhism, including Wan Chuk, Wan Hyo, Yua Sang, Muzang, and Kim Gyo Gak, a Silla prince whose influence made Mount Jiuwa one of the four sacred mountains of Chinese Buddhism. Later Silla fell apart in the late 9th century, giving way to the tumultuous later Three Kingdoms period, and Balhi was destroyed by the Khitans in 926. Gori Eo unified the Leito Three Kingdoms and received the last crown prince and much of the ruling class of Balhi, thus bringing about a unification of the two successor nations of Kukuyu. Gori Eo Dynasty Gori Eo was founded in 918 and replaced Silla as the ruling dynasty of Korea. Gori Eo's land was at first what is now South Korea, and about one third of North Korea, but later on managed to recover most of the Korean peninsula. Momentarily, Goryeo advanced to parts of Jeonnao while conquering the Jukans, but returned the territories due to the harsh climate and difficulties in defending them. The name, Goryeo, is a short form of Kukuyo, and was first used during the time of King Jiangsu. Goryeo regarded itself as the successor of Kukuyo, hence its name and efforts to recover the former territories of Kukuyo. Wang Jian, the founder of Goryeo, was of Kukuyo descent and traced his ancestry to a noble Kukuyo clan. He made Kaesong, his hometown, the capital. During this period, laws were codified and a civil service system was introduced. Buddhism flourished and spread throughout the peninsula. The development of Celadon industries flourished in the 12th and 13th centuries. The publication of the Tripitaka Koreana onto more than 80,000 wooden blocks and the invention of the world's first metal movable type in the 13th century attest to Goryeo's cultural achievements. Goryeo had to defend frequently against attacks by nomadic empires, especially the Khitans and the Mongols. Goryeo had a hostile relationship with the Khitans, because the Khitan Empire had destroyed Balhi, also a successor state of Kukuyo. In 993, the Khitans who had established the Liao dynasty in 907, invaded Goryeo, demanding that it make amity with them. Goryeo sent the diplomat Seohui to negotiate, who successfully persuaded the Khitans to let Goryeo expand to the banks of the Amnok River, citing that in the past the land belonged to Kukuyo, the predecessor of Goryeo. During the goryeo khitan War, the Khitan Empire invaded Korea twice more in 1009 and 1018 but was defeated. After defeating the Khitan Empire, which was the most powerful empire of its time, Goryeo experienced a golden age that lasted a century, during which the Tripitaka Koreanid was completed, and there were great developments in printing and publishing, promoting learning, and dispersing knowledge on philosophy, literature, religion, and science. By 1100, there were 12 universities that produced famous scholars and scientists, Goryeo was invaded by the Mongols in seven major campaigns from the 1230s until the 1270s, but was never conquered. Exhausted after decades of fighting, Goryeo sent its crown prince to the Yuan capital to swear allegiance to the Mongols. Kublai Khan accepted, and married one of his daughters to the Korean crown prince, and the dynastic line of Goryeo continued to survive under the overlordship of the Mongol Yuan dynasty as a semi-autonomous vassal state and compulsory ally. The two nations became intertwined for 80 years as all subsequent Korean kings married Mongol princesses, and the last empress of the Yuan dynasty was a Korean princess. In the 1350s, King Gongmin was free at last to reform the Goryeo government when the Yuan dynasty began to crumble. Gongmin had various problems that needed to be dealt with which included the removal of pro-Mongol aristocrats and military officials, the question of landholding, and quelling the growing animosity between the Buddhists and Confucian scholars. During this tumultuous period, Goryeo momentarily conquered Liaoyang in 1356, repulsed two large invasions by the Red Turbans in 1359 and 1360, and defeated the final attempt by the Yuan to dominate Goryeo when General Koyang defeated a Mongol Tumen in 1364. During the 1380s, Goryeo turned its attention to the Waku threat and used naval artillery created by Komuzion to annihilate hundreds of pirate ships. Joseon Dynasty In 1392, 
The General Yi Song Gi overthrew the Gori Eo dynasty after he staged a coup and defeated General Ko Young. Yi Song Gi named his new dynasty Joseon and moved the capital from Kaesong to Hansong and built the Jiongbok Gung Palace. In 1394, he adopted Confucianism as the country's official ideology, resulting in much loss of power and wealth by the Buddhists. The prevailing philosophy of the Joseon dynasty was Neo-Confucianism, which was epitomized by the Sinbi class. Scholars who passed up positions of wealth and power to lead lives of study and integrity. Joseon was a nominal tributary state of China, but exercised full sovereignty, and maintained the highest position among China's tributary states, which also included countries such as the Ryukyu Kingdom, Vietnam, Burma, Brunei, Laos, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines, among others. In addition, Joseon received tribute from Jorkans and Japanese until the 17th century, and had a small enclave in the Ryukyu Kingdom that engaged in trade with Siam and Java. During the 15th and 16th centuries, Joseon enjoyed many benevolent rulers who promoted education and science. Most notable among them was Sejong the Great, who personally created and promulgated Hangul, the Korean alphabet. This golden age saw great cultural and scientific advancements, including in printing, meteorological observation, astronomy, calendar science, ceramics, military technology, geography, cartography, medicine, and agricultural technology, some of which were unrivaled elsewhere. Joseon implemented a class system that consisted of Yangban the noble class, Jungin the middle class, Yang in the common class, and Jin in the lowest class, which included occupations such as butchers, tanners, shamans, entertainers, and nobi, the equivalent of slaves, bond servants, or serfs. In 1592 and again in 1597, the Japanese invaded Korea. The Korean military at the time was unprepared and untrained, due to two centuries of peace on the Korean peninsula. Toyotomi Hideyoshi intended to conquer China and India through the Korean peninsula, but was defeated by strong resistance from the righteous army. The naval superiority of Admiral Yi Sun Sin and his turtle ships, and assistance from Wan the Emperor of Ming China. However, Joseon experienced great destruction, including a tremendous loss of cultural sites such as temples and palaces to Japanese pillaging, and the Japanese brought back to Japan an estimated 100,000-200,000 noses cut from Korean victims. Less than 30 years after the Japanese invasions, the Mancus took advantage of Joseon's war-weakened state and invaded in 1627 and 1637, and then went on to conquer the destabilized Ming dynasty. After normalizing relations with the new Qing dynasty, Joseon experienced a nearly 200-year period of peace. King Xiongo and Zhengo led a new renaissance of the Joseon dynasty during the 18th century. In the 19th century, the royal and law families gained control of the government leading to mass corruption and weakening of the state, with severe poverty and peasant rebellions spreading throughout the country. Furthermore, the Joseon government adopted a strict isolationist policy, earning the nickname, the Hermit Kingdom, but ultimately failed to protect itself against imperialism and was forced to open its borders, beginning an era leading into Japanese imperial rule. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries, would you like to know more?